Gorno-Badakhshan, deep in a mountain range linking to the Himalayas, is among the most isolated places on Earth. Once prosperous, its people endured great hardship following the collapse of the Soviet Union and a five-year civil war in Tajikistan in the 1990s. They suffered in sub-zero winters, with no resources to maintain basic infrastructure like electricity. The Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development, in partnership with the Tajik government, set up Pamir Energy. later, it generates electricity to 96% of the region. Excess energy from its hydroelectric plant is being exported to the Afghan province of Badakhshan, where energy shortages are even more acute. The impact is profound. At this clinic in Shugnan, Afghanistan, access to reliable electricity is saving lives. مام وقت تر دیگه کلینیک نه یودی کاری دارم ولی این دفعه من بود. از این تاشه چه کوبلی، به تاله کوبل تاشه مجبوری استفاده می‌کنم. Telemedicine gives local doctors in this remote community access to medical expertise far beyond Afghanistan's borders. Tapping into specialist knowledge at the Aga Khan University in Pakistan and elsewhere in the world. And for the first time, X-rays, ultrasound and ECGs can be carried out and shared via mobile phone networks. who previously had to cook with wood and charcoal now have access to clean power, reducing the incidence of chest infections. Homes have electric lighting and heating, and families have televisions to connect the broader world. It's been transformative. Access to reliable power has impacted on education at every level. At this teacher training college, teachers and students are learning computer skills. 
in the past when there weren't any programs of UCA, uh, I didn't know anything about English uh, and also computer programs. So when uh, UCA provided us English uh, courses and computer programs, uh, uh, we it changed our life. Uh, we studied it, and now uh, we are teachers. So if we uh, wouldn't study uh, this uh, course, uh, I don't think that we uh, uh, had jobs. Tajikistan is the most remittance-dependent country in the world, with an estimated half of the population forced to find work abroad. Now, new businesses are springing up all over the region. Better education and training means increased prosperity and security for a region which has seen much conflict. When the students or the inhabitants of this province are involved in some uh, creativity things and they are just working for their lives and for their families, I think they are not involving in the war and they are not involving in the drug dealings and this kind of things which are makes uh, instability in the region. Pamir Energy's mission to reconnect this fractured region means 96% of Gorno Badakhshan now has round-the-clock electricity. 4% of the population of northern Afghanistan has access to uninterrupted power, and the plan is to increase that tenfold in the next five years. The aim is for Pamir Energy to replicate its success in northern Afghanistan and in northern Pakistan. Whatever has been done, indeed, it is really to bring the stabilizers into the regions. But you could see uh, the, the, the local GDP has been growing up very significantly. So all those have been booming and we have to be ready today to meet the future demands. Investing regionally has helped reconnect families across the River Panj in Afghanistan and Tajikistan, families that were divided for nearly half a century. Access to energy has helped save lives, given life to new businesses and given the region's people hope for a safer and more prosperous future. <laughs>